Hi everybody and welcome back to Chester Zoo's virtual tour. You're here in the Butterfly House. I'm Heather, one of the keepers, so I will give you a little tour. So at the moment I've just got some fresh fruit out. So we've got a blue morpho butterfly here feeding on some pineapple. And admittedly, yes, it doesn't look blue right now, but as soon as it opens its wings, you'll get a bright flash of blue. So hopefully it might cooperate or might not. I think it's enjoying its food a little bit too much right now. So butterflies, they drink mainly like fruit juices or plant nectar. They do this with a big curly sort of straw that they have for a mouth. This is called a proboscis. And they use this to just suck up all the, all the juices. Sometimes they do get a little bit drunk if it does get a bit fermented. So you might see them slumped over to one side sometimes, but they're perfectly fine. They're just a bit merry. We have another really cool butterfly over here. This is an orange oak leaf. And if you look closely, it is a leaf mimic. So it looks exactly like a dead leaf on the outside. But inside, this is very brightly colored. It's orange and purple. And it's another one that isn't quite cooperating with me at the moment. It doesn't want to show off its beautiful wings. We'll take a little tour through. Got quite a few still flying around. The sun was out before, so they were enjoying the sunshine. This one over here is one of the largest species we have at the zoo. This is a giant owl butterfly. It's another one that does feed mainly on fruit juice. And it will lay its eggs on a banana plant, which is what it's currently resting on. So it lays tiny little clusters of little white eggs on the underside of banana leaves, which will then hatch out into tiny little caterpillars. is that butterflies usually will taste things with their feet which does sound pretty gross but it does help them when they're trying to choose what plants they want to lay their eggs on and also what they can eat so sometimes you'll see a butterfly land on something it'll decide it's very very tasty and then it will uncurl its tongue in order to feed this one here is called a postman butterfly and it's called a postman because it likes to go from plant to plant delivering its eggs so it's like a little postman, it will deliver tiny little yellow, yellow little eggs onto passion flower plants. And these ones are very, very clever. The postman butterflies can eat both nectar and pollen. And they do this by making it into a paste and it will help them live for about six months. Now we have some more eggs and caterpillars on this one. Oops, sorry, shaking a little bit. So these are the giant owl. So generally if you come through the butterfly house, don't be afraid to have a look under the plants that you see that have been a little bit nibbled, a little bit eaten, because generally you'll find a few eggs or a few caterpillars. And if you see one of our keepers or one of the volunteers around, don't be afraid to ask us some questions. Now this is our emergence cabinet. We've just had a delivery in. We get a delivery from sustainable farms all around the world. And these will stay in here for the next week or so, and then we'll hatch into big, beautiful butterflies. So we check the cabinet twice a day. We keep it nice and humid and warm, just the perfect ideal conditions for the butterflies. 
and then we record every single individual one that comes out. Um, so my name's Leah and today I'm showing you one of our special species that we've got here in the butterfly house. So this is a Malayan jungle nymph and they're actually the heaviest stick insect in the world. And what I have here is a female, I can tell that because she's bright green. And actually you can see her really clearly on my hand but if I put her next to something that was green she'd actually be really difficult to spot. So they're really well camouflaged. And I can tell you that this is a female and because she looks really different from the male. So you can see here that she's bright green and she's got a really wide body. The males look completely different. They're actually a similar size, but they're much thinner and they're brown as well. And the interesting thing about the males is that they can actually fly. So they've got big pink wings as well. So these stick insects live for about uh, two years. Um, and we can see here that this one is a fully grown female. They also have a really cool sort of defensive mechanism as well. So if they were to be attacked by a predator, for example, they've got a cool handstand that they do. So they lean forward onto their front legs and they use these back legs here. You can see all of these sharp spines. So they use those to deter predators away as well. So yeah, she's been very well behaved today. Um, or you can see here that she's got quite a wide body and quite a pointy bottom. And this is really, really important for these guys because actually they use this to lay their eggs and they actually lay their eggs underground. So they'll put their pointy bottoms in the soil and they'll lay eggs and then they will, um, they'll hatch underground. It'll keep them nice and safe from any predators as well. So yeah, so that's the Malaysian jungle nymph for you. So we just got a few caterpillars as well to show you guys. So they start off very, very tiny, very small, and these ones are almost fully grown, so very soon they'll form a chrysalis, and they'll stay in as a chrysalis for about two weeks before emerging as a big, beautiful blue butterfly. So we've got some quite small caterpillars on here. which we haven't seen today is the glasswing but we do have some glasswing pupae you think there is a little tiny caterpillar under here having its dinner so once the caterpillars are ready they will hang themselves upside down from a leaf which is what this one here is doing so this one by tomorrow will be a chrysalis Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for joining us, guys, on our virtual tour of the Butterfly House, and we hope you enjoyed it. And you can join us again at two o'clock today for, um, for you guys to get to meet our sun bears. So thank you very much. See you again soon.